Here we are with another one. I mean, if you watched the previous one, this is another one. If you didn't watch the other one, this is brand new to you. There's also a label available to print out if you're in this course. If you're not, well, here it is again. Take a screenshot if you can do that. Run if I can do. Hmm. Yeah, click, click. Okay. So the order is for Keflex. The prescriber ordered 125 milligrams of Keflex, P O Q I D, whatever that means. Is it safe? I need to see if it's safe. How do I know if it's safe? Well, in this case, I look at the label and it says on there that a usual children's dose is between, I uh, here's this is different from the other one we just did. That was just one number. A safe dose or usual dose is bang, just one number. Here's two numbers. Anything between 25 and 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. So safe dose is between 25 and 50 milligrams per kilogram, I can do this, per day. There's two numbers. There's a lower and a higher safe amount. So the math we're going to do here is take both those numbers. The lowest one, 25 milligrams per kilogram per day. And the upper limit, 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. But for each one of those, just like we've done over and over, I need to multiply each of those by the weight in kilograms. So let's find this out, 36 pounds. Divide that by 2.2. And the little kiddo weighs 16.36333. So 16.4 kilograms. Yes, I'm gonna say it again. Don't round the number off and use that in the next step. Then you round that off and use that again. No, don't round these off until the last final answer. Keep them in the calculator and just do them and use the previous one in the next step. Well, so the kid weighs 16 point whatever, right there, kilograms, those cancel out. 25 is the lowest limit, so this times 25 is 409. Point one, what? Milligrams per day. So that lowest limit, the lowest possible safe amount I can give per day for the whole day is this. Milligrams per day. And I go <laughs> up to what? Ignore that ugly mark here. Well, this times this. You do 16 point what, 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 what times 50. By the way, you might can figure this out. Since this is twice what this is, that number is twice what this is, right? Now, yeah, in case that'll help you. So, what's the upper safe limit per day? Eight, 18.2 milligrams per day. Now, probably if you're taking my class, the homework in the book will ask you a series of questions like, uh, what is the patient's weight in kilograms? Well, we just figured this out. What, 16.4? Next question. What's the safe or usual, typical, normal range per 24 hours per day? Well, between this and this. That's the per day or per 24 hour safe limit. But now, what's the safe amount to give per dose? Well, I don't know yet. I give it QID four times a day. So if I give it four times a day, I must divide each of those by four. Well, I've got this number here. If I divide that by four, that's 204.5. But that's the milligrams per dose. This is the highest amount I can give safely. The lowest, divide this by four. And what do you get here? You get... 101, oh, no, that's not right. Um, 102.3, sounds good to me. So what are we doing here? What's a safe amount I can give my patient per dose? If the order is anywhere between 102.3 and 204.5 milligrams, it's a safe amount, that's per dose. So is the order safe? Well, the doctor ordered 125. Hey, that's right in the middle. It's safe. You see what we're doing. Let's see what this does not mean, what it does mean. 
What am I comparing the order to? Those two numbers? Of course not, not those. I gotta figure out what those are for my patient. Am I comparing this number to this range? No, that's how much to give, of course, each dose. That's how much to give per day. I'm comparing this number to these numbers. Understand what you're comparing. And yes, since that number is in this range, it is safe. So is the order safe? Yes, yes it is. And on almost all the homework problems, you'll be asked that question. Is the order safe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, no, no. Now watch out. So what if, and again, what if the doctor's order or the PA's or NP's order was 225? No, 225 is outside that range. It's not in there. What if he'd ordered 100? And don't think, well, it's close. It's not, if it's not in that range, don't do it. That's what you're going by. If it's below this number or above that number, it's wrong. You don't give it. But now that I know it is safe, what do I do? Well, I take that number. That's what I'm going to get. I'm going to give 125 milligrams. That's my order. I'm going to give it. You're not giving one of those numbers. You're giving what the prescriber said. Now I do my dosage calculations. Well, how strong is it? Well, we saw on the label. Well, I saw. I don't know if you did. Right there. That's how strong the stuff is. 125 milligrams per 5 milliliters. So, 125 milligrams and every 5 milliliters. And I can't stand. You're going to give 5 milliliters. That was quick. Ooh, you're thinking he is smart. That's what you're doing here. Hope you got this down. And that was fun, wasn't it?